Right, shalom on me, shalom on the staff, so I'll give no praise to Yabba Hashem, Yau Shai, double arms, possible GMS and honours to you brothers that are doing the work and truth, while sincerity, just in this, you know, this whore Jennifer Lawrence, you know, she's basically saying, oh, I was made to do a nude lineup early in my career, bah, ha, ha, boo, hoo, hoo. Right, and you, you know, first of all, this, this, this headline is uh, factually incorrect, you know, she chose to do a nude line up early in her career to further her career that's really what happened here you know you read further on um basically it was a basically someone said you got to lose weight real quick as a woman actually it was um saying you gotta would you call it uh so i'm just reading trying to find this point it says, and, and during this time a female producer had me do a new line up with about five women who are much much thinner than me right and then basically saying she had to lose weight and well she's in hollywood so she probably did do that she probably did go and lose weight <laughs> so she, she still did it anyway so don't complain right this is just more you know examples of how women really you know a woman's opinion doesn't matter it, it's it's something from as she's why women should be choosing their husbands that's just why you know the lord made it that way right and if, if you got a problem with it take it up with the most high Right, you know, go on face, put 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 yourself before the Lord and say, Look, I don't like the way you've done this, you know, and then watch before you know he destroys you, right? Because ultimately, man, this is just some you know, no one's getting me to do no nude lineup for some you know, for some stupidness and then start playing the victim afterwards. You know, don't try to play the victim when, you know, you, you, you completely sold out. Yeah, this is selling out. This is selling out. You sold out to, what you call it, to get a deal. And then now everyone else is complaining. You feel like, yeah, fuck it, let me complain as well. Right, this is Numbers 30 and 2. says, if a man vow vow unto the Lord, or an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word shall do according to all that proceedeth out of a mouth or out of, out of his mouth for all if a woman also vow a vow unto the lord and bind herself by a bond being in her father's house in her youth and her father hear her vow and her vow wherewith she hath bound her soul and her father shall hold his peace at her then all her vows shall stand and every bond wherewith um, she hath bound her soul shall stand but if her father disallow her in that day that he heareth not any of her vows or of her bonds wherein she hath bound her soul shall stand and the Lord shall forgive her because her father disallowed her well, because her father had sense right and that's the thing as well because in his kingdom men ain't men you know, men be making just as bad a decision emotionally laden decisions let's take example of Job's wife Job's wife straight out said curse the most high and die but and you know um but uh, but Job being the the masculine one, the one with the faith, he's like, I ain't gonna do that shit. That's some dumb shit. What am I gonna do that for? Right, because men are supposed to be able to go through adversity and keep carrying on, right, and make correct decisions. Right, which is why you know in the ancient world a man was the one like as is you know said here and it also goes on to say when if, if her husband hears her later on in her life and he says no nah, you ain't keeping that then that's disallowed as well well this is just some dumb over entitled bullshit and then to, to complain about it after the fact is just you know but it's just gonna go into furthermore about how a man's supposed to be head of the house and the world's supposed to be doing the decision making because this is it's the shit that happens when you ain't making, you know, proper decisions, you know, you could have just worked a normal job like anyone else, you know, you, be, you know, them guys that you'd be laughing at who work in, you know, lowly jobs, quote unquote, they don't be getting naked for anyone, they don't be getting told, oh yeah, oh, you know, she complains, oh, hey, uh, uh, here it says, she also claimed that a male film executive told her that she was perfectly fuckable. And notice how none of these girls are naming people. You know, this goes about the Harvey, Harvey Weinstein or whatever that guy's name is. Well, that's because the elites have given the okay to get at him. 
No one else has named any other names. Because they already know what would happen. They get blackballed. Terry Crews said it. He's like, yeah, man, you know, I knew I'd be ostracized if I said anything. But yeah, he carried on. I mean, that guy's bitch made anyway. But he carried on in the industry and he kept it quiet. Why? Because he, he sold his soul. You know, for a bit of moolah. Well, this is First Corinthians 11 and uh, uh, 3 says, But I'll have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shah, who, you know, whom the world is going to call Jesus Christ. Right? And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of uh, Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. Right? That's the true name of the Lord. Right? It says, every man, yes, and, and that's the point. That's the order. That's the hierarchy. Right? This is Matthew 16, 26, says, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Right, so she's gained the whole world. It says she's, uh, what do you call it? The uh, One of the richest female actresses or whatever, uh, what do you call it? Actresses in, in, in the world. or You know, she makes, she makes, she, she, she lives good. You know, but she had to sell her soul to do it. And, you know, now she's trying to cry about it like a little bitch. She chose to get naked for some money. There's a word for that, prostitute. <laughs> it was just a high-paid prostitute. That's all it is. You know, as opposed to what the calls that, man. These women are just dildo heads, man. Right, this is Isaiah 32 and 9 says, Rise up, you women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Right, and the majority of these women, you know, just talking about the Israelite one, but the majority of these women in general in the Western world, they're, they're at ease, they've got no consequences. No consequences at all. They want to have sex, wake up the next morning and think, actually, he's not the kind of guy I'm into press charges on rape. Find out that she was lying, done. no matter, nothing happens to her. Right, which is why the law says, yo, if you was to, uh, would you call it, make a false allegation and proven it was a false allegation, then you're supposed to get the crime, yeah, the, the, the sentence of that crime. So if you accidentally falsely accuse someone of murder, right, the sentence for murder is death, that means you would have to be put to death, which prevented people from lying. Right, but this is the point. It's, uh, or, or, based on, or, or they get pregnant, what do they do? Just abort it. You know, companies are, are, are hiring purely in the fact that someone's a woman and not because someone is good. Right, that, you know, goes on to say, Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, you women, that at ease be troubled, you careless ones. Man, you look bit careless as fuck, man. To so strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your upon your loins, they shall lament for the teats, for pleasant fields, for fruitful vine. Well, so all the good times are gonna come to an end. Right now, you know, you're free to go. Do you waste your money in all of these shops that don't care about you? Like, friends, you got Oxford Circus, my right? biggest shopping district, uh, busiest street in Europe, right? And yet there's like no toilets for the women. But all of those, every shop there is aimed at women. Right, so it's just spend your money but piss yourself in the process. I think you've got McDonald's and you've got the, the Marks and Spencers. On the whole strip, you know, I, I don't know about the other direction. You mean you've got coffee shops and that, but as, as a whole, there ain't, ain't no like facilities for them to go. But yet the whole street is designed for them to be there to waste their money, which is what they do most of the time. What's well, Isaiah 13 and 16 says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Right, so but what I wanted to get into is everyone's complaining about this, that and the other, but it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get bad, it's gonna get real bad, man. Right, because they're complaining about oh he said some this, he oh he did that, ah blah blah. Right, but it says, Their children all shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. And, you know, look at this word together. To violate, ravish. Basically means, you know, to copulate with, to, to rape. That's what it means. Well, the scriptures are saying there's going to come a time when these women are just going to be getting raped. 
You show that in every post-apocalyptic movie, when, when the economy crashes, not if, when the economy crashes, when shit hits the fan, roles are going to go back to what they're supposed to be. Right, which nicely leads us to segue into Isaiah 4 and 1, says in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right, so let's, let's go over that again. In that day, seven women, right? Seven, that's just, it means a complete number of women. Right, we'll take hold of one man, an Israelite man. Why are they going to be doing that? Right, we'll carry on, we'll get better understanding, saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. But it's saying we're self sufficient. Right, only let us be called by thy name. Basically, look after us. Because those times are going to get so bad where you don't want to, you woman, you don't want to be left alone. And like once again, all those po post apocalyptic films show you that. All those, you know, you, they couldn't survive. Look at the, what, the Book of Eli, the, what do you call it, um, The Road. Only ones I can think of off, off of the top of my head that, that uh, showcase it. But, it, you know, just become a spot. Because in times of war, that's just all what women are. So, that message, I